Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom, and I'm Kendall Lawrence, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. And what we're gonna do today is a scrumptious collard green stuffed salmon. So let's take a look at our ingredients. Okay, so before I tell you about my ingredients, I wanna say that I accidentally said a collard green stuffed salmon, and it is turnip green stuffed salmon. salmon. And about my salmon, um, Normally, I've done this a couple of times, and normally I have fresh salmon that I've gone to the fishmonger to get, but um, I have been trying to do better about using everything that I have in my house, in the kitchen, in the freezer, and I have these frozen salmon fillets in a bag, and so I'm going to use two of them because they're too thin to slice open and stuff, so I'm going to use two of them and put toothpicks in them um, when I stuff them. Okay, so my ingredients are my two salmon fillets and of course I said uh, it's better with a fresh thick cut piece of salmon but this is what I'm using because I had it. I have uh, for spices I have some smoked uh, paprika, I have some garlic powder, I have some sea salt and I have some black pepper. I have some uh, fresh cilantro that I chopped up. I have some Italian seasoning. I have some heavy whipping cream. I have some sour cream some uh, fresh turnip greens that I had that I cooked a couple days ago and whenever I cook greens fresh I put them in freezer bags and I freeze them to have with another meal you can certainly use frozen ones I have some Gruyere cheese some cream cheese some butter and a lemon so um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and grate up my Gruyere cheese and then we'll come back and we'll make the filling so for the filling, I am going to start with um, a quarter cup, well no, actually I'm going to start out with eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. And I've got, a, what is it here, a, a, a quarter cup of butter. and an eighth of a cup of sour cream and I'm gonna mix this up with my hand mixer. I've got eight ounces of my softened cream trees, an eighth of a cup of the sour cream, quarter cup of butter, and a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix this up. cheeses, my cream cheese, and uh, my butter, my heavy whipping cream, and my sour cream is mixed up really nice and smoothly. Now I'm going to add my Gruyere. And I'm going to add my fresh turnips. You can also use frozen. And I'm going to add a bit of cilantro. I'm, I'm not big on a lot of cilantro so I'm not going to have too much of that in there to taste and get it all incorporated okay so we've got everything all mixed up for our for our filling and for the purposes of the video I'm just going to do one so I'm going to spread some filling onto one of the pieces of fish Probably would have been better with a spoon, but it's working. And it doesn't matter if it oozes out. That kind of makes it even more yummy. Got a nice good layer of it there. Now I'm going to take the other thin piece of salmon and put it on top 
and I'm going to use um, toothpicks to secure it and then we're going to get it into a cast iron skillet for about a minute and finish it off in the oven. Okay, so I have my, my uh, salmon fillets stuffed with all of my um, turnip greens and cheese mixture and I started it out in a cast iron skillet and I'm only going to have it in the skillet for about one minute. It's been almost that now and then I'm going to uh, put it in the oven on 400 degrees um, for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the fish is completely done and flakes nicely. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the final result. Okay, so here is our uh, turnip stuffed salmon straight out of the oven. So it's still really hot. And I have a lot of things going on today and I forgot some major things here that I need to tell you about. I forgot to season it um, before I told you I was going to put it in the oven. As soon as I put it in the oven, I realized that I didn't put the seasoning on the fish. So I took it right out of the oven and I seasoned it with my black pepper, my garlic powder, my smoked paprika, my Italian seasoning, and some sea salt. And I also think I told you when I talked about my ingredients that I had uh, some garlic roasted, roasting in the oven. And the, the roasted garlic was supposed to go into the uh, filling mixture and I forgot that but I'm certainly not going to let this wonderful roasted garlic go to waste because at the end of this while the pan is still hot you're supposed to make a, a really quick pan sauce so I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze my roasted garlic out around in the pan and we, I roasted this in the oven on uh, 350 for about 30 minutes and it's caramelized and it's just yummy and delicious and so I'm certainly not going to let that go to waste but normally this would have gone into the sauce and I was just, I've got so much on my plate today and I was rushing but I really wanted to make this video for you so please forgive me but remember the roasted garlic goes in there and that you season it with the seasonings that I listed um, before you uh, uh, put it in the oven. So I'm going to make a really quick sauce while the pan is still hot. The eye, the eye is not on. It's just come out of the oven. So I'm putting lots of butter in the pan. And I'm going to put some white cooking wine. Is that in the shot good? Some white cooking wine in the pan to make a nice little sauce. And I'm just going to kind of move it around until everything melts. And then I'm going to put it on a plate and give it a taste. Okay, so here's the final result of our turnip stuffed uh, salmon. I think it looks absolutely marvelous. Um, I, I uh, put the sauce over it with, that included the um, pats of butter and the white cooking wine. Use um, regular white wine. I just didn't have any on hand. So again, I'm using what I have in the house. So if you don't have any, um, white wine, use some uh, white cooking wine, and I squeezed in that lovely roasted, that whole head of lovely roasted garlic, and so I'm going to take a, ta a taste right now. So I'm going to have my husband take a taste, and I'm going to take a taste after him. Let's see what the result is. Let's get some of this good cheese. Here you go, Frank. What do you think? Tastes good. That's a taste? good combination. What are you tasting there? The cheese and the um, garlic and the fish, it all melts together very very nicely. Mm. That is heavenly. It's good. Whoa. That's like... It's restaurant quality. An, oh, yes, restaurant quality. I taste the lemon, the smokiness from the paprika, the turnip greens, are so, more subtle than collards, but you can use collards, kale, spinach, the turnip greens, the cheese combination, the creamy Gruyere cheese. It's wonderful. Wow, this was a wonderful recipe. And this was actually economical because I used the, the bag of frozen uh, salmon. Just have to use two pieces. That's great. I can't wait to dig into this. 
Wow, please give this one a try. That recipe turned out fantastically. Um, this is the first time that I've done it with the frozen uh, salmon fillets, but it was great. The combination of flavors is outstanding. Please try this. I highly recommend it. You will love it. Um, I'm so happy that you came and visited with me today. I hope you comment and um, like, subscribe. Please subscribe and um, share my video and let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to cook or any questions that you want to ask me. I'm, I'm happy to do stuff like that. So have a, a great weekend um, and go feed your family. Bye-bye.